Hello and welcome to an inkdependence.com brief video review and water job test. This time we have Toucan Scarlet for you. Uh, where's the camera? There it is. So this comes in uh, little vials if you uh, get a sample. If you get a full size, they come in these crazy, uh, I don't know, plastic bags, which is kind of fun. They're tough. They're not going to like blow up. It's not like a Ziploc bag. They're kind of like... Um, Oh, what do they call those things? Platypus bags, when I used to do a lot of hiking. Anyway, um, these are uh, three mil samples. If you get them, you can only get them from andersonpens.com. Uh, .net will take you there, but they're now a .com. I've had this sample for a little while. And uh, they're really good inks for the most part. You you can find the rest of my reviews on the interwebs. Uh, they're all mixing inks, so you can mix them one with another. So if these colors aren't perfect for you, then just fix them. Alter them with another uh, Toucan ink. Anyway, um, this Australian brand is one that I've been doing a lot of reviews on because uh, the Anderson sent me the whole set. Thank you very much, Brian and Lisa. One of these days, I will be done with it. I've almost, I think I've done almost every one of them. Or at least written them all out. I've got them, uh, you know, they're coming up soon. All right, anywho, here is Scarlet. Scarlet is uh, a better red, I think, than the Crimson. I didn't love the Toucan Crimson. For whatever reason, it just wasn't the right, it wasn't right for me. Um, Scarlet's a lot better. It's definitely the better red of the group. Um, but it's not really a Scarlet either. It's kind of a tomatoey red. It reminds me a little bit of, um, if you know, uh, Roar and Klingner has, I think, at least I think that's how you say it has um, uh, an ink called Marinda, I want to say. And Marinda looks just like ketchup. Well, this one is a little bit more, um, I don't know, maybe a little more orange than Marinda, but... Uh, <laughs> cat's meowing in the background. But still a very cool red. Um, I have uh, some shading on uh, good paper. Not a whole lot. It's fairly uh, saturated for this set. This set is generally pretty unsaturated, but this one, pretty good. Not the darkest ink, of course. It's not super saturated or anything, but it's pretty good. I, uh, I've been using it to grade papers with and such, and it's worked out very well. It definitely works uh, pretty well on uh, regular old copy papers and the crap that students use. You can see here uh, in the description bit, I was actually running out of ink. I, uh, I've only got this much left of that three mil sample, which is, I don't know, maybe I've got a mil left. Uh, I just kept refilling this uh, Metropolitan with this ink. I kind of like it. Here it is next to a couple of other inks that are uh, much more red. Although, yeah, it's kind of hard to tell right now. The Scarlet seems to have darkened up over time. I know when I put it down originally, it wasn't that red. This is next to Newler's Nikita and Park. Park is the brand new one. I think it's better than Nikita. Um, if you're looking for a red ink, the Park is good. Nikita bleeds, as uh, is, is the problem with Nikita. Anywho, and then I've got Elmo's Twilight, which is uh, Texas exclusive from Drom Ghouls, uh, which is kind of a real reddish brownish color. And then Gold, which is coming up very soon in the blog, and Aqua and Turquoise also coming up very soon. All right, let's see how this does with regard to water. None of these have been very water resistant, so I don't expect that here. It's just not water resistant inks, and that's fine. Oh, I didn't get a wipey paper. Where is it? Here we go. All right. Yeah, you can definitely see that swirling away. There's not going to be a whole lot left here when I'm finished uh, blotting this up. Go ahead and blot, blot, blot. And yeah, not a lot left. Not much at all, in fact. Um, so this one, not water resistant. There it is. There's what's left on the rag. Not a whole lot left on the page. Shh, scraggles. That's our dog and cat having fun. Anyway, so there you go. Not water resistant at all. Not super surprised, here is the chromatography for this ink. Uh, you can see lots of kind of pinks and such in there. Most of the inks in this uh, set are actually pretty monotone. They've only got one or two colors in there, maybe. But this one seems to have some more. You've got um, some sort of uh, tomato-y colors up here, and then a deep red in the center, and then this is kind of a magenta. But down here where it started, almost nothing. So most of the color moves, so it's not going to be water resistant. Anywho, there you go. This has been Toucan Scarlet, a fine red ink. Definitely check this one out if you're getting some of these Toucan inks. They're pretty, they're very reasonably priced for what you get. Um, and so, you know, pick some of these up. You can only get them in the Anderson Pins in America. If you're outside of America, uh, then you can pick them up somewhere else. Maybe, I don't know, they're Australian, so their distribution is kind of limited. Anyway, there you go. This is Toucan Scarlet. See you around.